I use uh, two straight scissors and two thinning or blending scissors. So the first um, a straight scissor I use is I like to use at least um, an, uh, an eight to an eight and a half inch uh, longer scissor for my scissor over comb cutting. So basically you don't have to use anything as big as this. You can use, I suggest using anything from a, a six and a half to eight and a half for your scissor over comb work. And uh, the thing I like about it is, is the bigger the blade, because when you're cutting with the blade, you should only be cutting with you know the front third or the front half of the blade, so you can cover a lot more ground. So the less passes you have to make, um, the more accurate your haircut's going to be. So the, the correct way to hold to hold your scissor is you want your ring finger in the uh, in the top hole and your thumb in the bottom hole, and you don't want your thumb going in too far. And you want to make sure that when you're cutting, that you have the scissor slightly pointed towards you putting all the pressure on the scissor and pulling with uh, the two fingers on top and you're, you just have your thumb floating in the, uh, in the thumb hole. 